Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video. My name is Floppy and in today's tutorial we're going to be going over how to add outlines to models and parts in Roblox Studio. Now you'd be quite surprised, this system isn't actually seen in many games, it's very seldom you see people actually using outlines, but it's actually a really cool feature that Roblox Studio offers. Now what this outlines and what I mean by this, it basically, it's like a highlight. It just makes everything stand out even more. Now what's even cool is you can do this on any part. You can have this on a standard brick part like this right here. You can have it on a player. You can put it on the workspace, the main base plate here. You can put it on the spawn location. You can really put it on any single thing that you want inside of your Roblox game. Now this is a very simple thing to do. So obviously for starters, make sure your exploring properties are enabled. If your exploring properties are not enabled, head up the top bar here, click on view and enable explorer and properties and they should show up somewhere over your screen. So now that you've enabled your explorer and properties, this is a very simple thing to do. So for starters, we're gonna be working on just a singular part here, this singular block right here. And all we are really doing is we're inserting a highlight, but then we're going and making the highlight actually transparent, meaning it just leaves us with the outline of that highlight, which is highlighting the box. So to do that, you wanna click on the plus button next to your part and then you wanna insert a highlight. So search up highlight just like that highlight and then you want to go and select your highlight just there. Now you can go and leave the part like this but for this tutorial we're going to be completely making it transparent basically meaning that there is no other shade or no other color here and it's just that leftover white outline there. So to do that you want to head over to your properties here and then we want to go and change the fill transparency to one basically meaning the transparency it is basically invisible that part is invisible there so the fill color is completely irrelevant but let's say you wanted to keep the fill color you're able to adjust that here so as you guys can see you can select the color you want but i'm going to go and set that back to one so that it's completely invisible because all we're focusing on here today is the main outline on the singular part so now to change the outline color some people like the white outline some people prefer maybe a bit of a black outline which would maybe fit their game but let's say you may be doing more of a like a medieval maybe red associated a red themed game then you'd maybe have a bit of a red outline if you really wanted to ocean game maybe you'd have like a bit of a sea color i guess you could say or like a nice cyan maybe a baby blue if you really wanted to or maybe like a bright blue really whatever would work for your game but that is how you can change the color of your outline there so that is the main color right there and that is the main highlight on our part now for every single part that you want this to be on you're going to have to go and individually add that there so let's say you had a big house you would have to go and put most likely model that and then add a highlight and then that would work but let's say you had a majority like a big bunch of trees here you'd then go and insert that outline there to add that outline into those parts and into that model now what's even cooler just to show you even a bit of a demonstration is we can move this highlight wherever we want so if we go to the properties and change the parent and let's say we're going to make the parent the base plate as you guys can see the highlight is no longer there but the highlight is actually around the whole entire base plate giving it a nice smooth looking finish this is, I feel this is a very underrated tool in Roblox Studio and a very underrate, underrated child in Roblox Studio simply because it's quite cool, I must say, and it's you don't often see it around. So these types of systems are really, really cool. So now what's even cooler is we can actually go and insert this highlight inside of our player. Now to do this, you want to head over to your starter player and then we're going to go to starter character scripts. We want to click on the plus button and insert a script. So now that you've gone and created your script inside of your starter character script, you want to head down to the description of this video or simply type it in. It is a very small, simple code. Go remove all the previous code and then paste in the new code. Now there isn't actually anything we really need to change, but there is one last thing we do need to do here to be able to get it working. We now need to go and put a highlight inside of this script. So we can go and go here to our highlight. We can duplicate this. We go to Control D, go to the properties, go to the parent and insert that back into the starter character scripts inside of the script. So there should be a drop down, drop down arrow here next to your script now that is holding our highlight. Now, depending on what outline or what sort of color outline you want the, for to be on the players, you can go and adjust that there. You wouldn't adjust this here in your normal parts. You'd adjust this here in the highlight underneath of the script. So that is that. And now when we go and join into the game now, you'll be able to see that we have actually got a nice black outline around our player. So as you guys can see, we are now in the base plate and here's the part that we made earlier with that outline. But as you guys can also see, since we've inserted that code, now we've also got an outline on our character. 
Now remember we put that normal script inside of the startup character script. The reason for that is because it is a server wide event. If we had gone and put in a local script in startup character script with the script, what would be happening now is let's say we had another player join in here. We would not be able to see their outline simply because it is a local script, a client sided script, basically meaning we will not be able to see that they actually have an outline, nor will they. So let's say I'm them now, I, they would not be able to see that I have an outline. Even though I have an outline, they wouldn't be able to see it. That's why we've gone and put the normal script inside of starter character scripts. This is a fairly simple tutorial, but if you are a little bit lost or you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to contact us on Discord and we can happily help you out. But in a way, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell, and also do consider liking the video. I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see everyone in the next Roblox Studio video.